video editing using nothing more than your iPhone or iPad? Picture in picture? <laughs> oh yes, and in this video I'll take you inside the iPhone, we'll edit, and it'll be awesome. Okay, <laughs> I'm inside the iPhone. What next? Ryan G. Johnson! Step number one, install iMovie app. Step number two, put on protective headwear. Step number three, take over the world. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly how I created that picture-in-picture -picture effect. First, let's go to Movie Studio, let's go to iMovie, and we're gonna click the plus sign, and then after that, we're gonna select Movie. I'll click Movie, and next, what I need to do is select some media to get started with. And again, I really wanna show you step-by-step -step how I created that video, so I'm gonna select Video, Recently Added, and I want this video with, uh, that was created on August 15th. So I'll press it. Once I press, it's selected, and you can see that because it's outlined in yellow, I'll click the checkbox, and then down below, I'll click Create Movie. And you can see here's the whole piece of the video. You didn't see this because I cut it and I did not use it, but you did see blink, blink, you don't want to start on a blank. So blank, blank, boom. I'm going to select the clip. Notice the menu options below are set to actions. I'll click on split and now I can delete this first part. And this is where our video began. And then notice I move over and I did a jump cut here. And I'll show you how to do that after I show you picture in picture. This video is about that. So let's get to that section. Basically, that picture-in-picture uh, -picture starts right off after this. And this is where our uh, scene ends. So I'll select the clip, I'll click Split, and I'm gonna delete that last section. And really what you see happen next is it doesn't quite look like it, but what you see is not video, but it begins with a photo. So I'm gonna go to the Media Browser, that's on the right, I'm gonna select Photos, and uh, Recently added will be great. And I've got the picture I want to use. I'm going to drop that in. And now you can see we've got, uh, we're starting to build our scene. However, there's a few problems here. Most notably, this transition. I don't want it to fade in gently. I want it to kind of be hard and quick and like pow. So in order to get that effect, I select none. Now let's see it again. Okay, awesome. Now what we need to do, and actually, you, I don't know if you can see this, but it's moving slightly. Okay, there's a little bit of movement. I don't want any of that, so I select the media I want to work with. That's the photo. And notice it says pinch to position the start. And the start is actually Ken Burns because it's enabled. I don't want Ken Burns in this instance, so I'll click on Ken Burns enabled. And doing so, now we have Ken Burns disabled. Furthermore, I can pinch in, I can pinch out, and I'm gonna pinch, I'm gonna uh, enlarge the photo a little bit, and that looks about great. Okay, let's see how our uh, little movie is coming along. And boom, perfect. Now, to get the picture-in-picture -picture effect, we position the playhead right here, we're gonna go back to the media browser. Notice we're in photos. I'm gonna go back one more level and now I have videos. I'm gonna select the exact video I just used. I select it and this time I'm not gonna just click the plus. I'm not gonna play it. I'm gonna select picture in picture and it's the one that I'm highlighting right here. I'll click that. And now what we've got is 
you can see there we go picture in picture and already we're we're pretty close to what we need and what we actually do need is we need to get this edited way down all this stuff is what we don't need I'm gonna keep scrubbing through the the playhead and it looks like we still don't have enough footage and I need to basically duplicate this clip because I need to get to the end of this clip here and there you can see so that's the scene we ended on and this is the scene that we need hey <laughs> gosh I like making videos and it starts right there so what I need to do is select that clip and click split which I've just done now be careful because the clip we want to use is highlighted and I don't want that to be highlighted I want to select this portion and I'm going to click delete and now you can see we don't even need this first clip so I'll delete that and now what I can do is I can come in and I can kind of tweak these it looks about perfect actually the timing is great so let's see what we got now all right so that's really pretty darn good there's a few things we want to work with here okay first off we need to position the picture in picture how do we do that notice again the media that we want to work with is selected it's highlighted in yellow and notice in the photo area in the uh, viewer we've got two options we've got a plus and a magnifying glass I'm gonna click plus and it says drag to position pinch to resize and sure enough boom and you can kinda see what's starting to happen and it's really just that easy okay right here we've got some problems did you see this Uh, the phone is blank and then I pop in that's not what we want and furthermore notice that the picture in picture is overlapping so first let's let's kind of get this this part is gonna be tough there we go better but not perfect but what are you gonna do we need to resize this a little bit click to position okay that's perfect actually right there you see but notice the the it's funny because when you resize this it's not quite perfect in iMovie but it's pretty good especially for an app I need to make this a bit smaller there we go uh, let's see what we got now hey look at that that looks fantastic and this is how easy it is to create a picture-in-picture -picture effect now I want to go back and kind of show you a few edits uh, if you've got what you need, awesome. I'm going to link to a few other videos on using iMovie effects. Check those out in the YouTube card right now. Or if you want to stick with me, I'm going to show you a few jump cuts right now. And basically notice that this is how the video starts, right? I'm talking. That's scene number one. And now right here... It ends right there. And then I take a few steps, I position myself, and this is the next scene. And in order to make that happen, what I need to do is create what's called a jump cut. And this is a great way to really create engaging videos that are fun to watch. So what do we do? We go to where we want, right there. We go right where we want the uh, clip to end, the scene to end. We highlight the scene and we keep scrubbing. And this is where I start talking again. I click, I split, I highlight, and that section is the middle where I, I'm walking over, and I'm going to select delete, and now watch, watch what we have here. So I'll just play you a second. 
And you can see it's kind of like goes from one scene to the next. It's fast, it's engaging, and really upbeat uh, uh, video cadence, right? Things that are happening will allow you to keep viewers' engagement uh, higher. So I, I didn't really like the way that part came out, so I just I, I kind of cut it right about here. Select it where I want to cut, split, and split again and delete. And now what we have is I'm laughing, ha 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 ha. And actually this was the same scene. I actually created the scene twice, so I'm gonna delete out of that. And the next scene is where I'm in the glasses. So I get right where I want. And I did this one twice, so I need, here it is right, no, that's the first one. And notice my hands. You don't see as much as my hands, of my hands, I should say. So I skipped that one. I backed up, did you see that? And this gives you uh, the chance to see a little bit more of my body and to use my arms more. I lean in. So this is where I want to start. I'm going to delete all this stuff. And I need to trim this a bit and trim. Now let's see what we got. This is basically the first 20 seconds of the video. It's fun, it's different, it holds people's attention. So very powerful. Alrighty, there you have it. That's the iMovie for iPhone or iPad, picture in picture. Really simple and it's amazing the kind of editing that you can pull off with a few apps and the knowledge to power those apps. Now in the next video, I'll be featuring, and I'll release this in a day or two, I'm gonna show you how I can create all kinds of cool text effects in this iMovie by using a few other apps, so stay tuned for that. Now if you haven't subscribed to me, Brian G. Johnson TV, well hit that red subscribe button right now. I create new videos often that walk you through how to create engaging videos that keep people watching and inspire action. I'll see you next time. Poof, pixie dust.